excited to share with you guys this easy zucchini enchilada recipe you can make three ways all right i'm going to show you how i use a mandolin to create the really thin strips that we're going to need to make these zucchini enchiladas so this is going to be one way you make them um okay so let's see here this can be a little bit tricky to get started because you really want to kind of flatten out your zucchini to begin with. And you really want to watch your, your hands there, but look at these nice, thin, little strips of zucchini that we're going to be using. The key is to go nice and slow and really kind of press down. Don't cut off your fingers. Um, I only had access to these kind of smaller zucchini, but it would be better if you found some that were a little bit wider. You wouldn't need quite as many. And the longer, the better. So here we have all our little zucchini noodles, nice and thin. That's the trick. Okay, now let's say you're like Amanda. A, I ain't got no mandolin. B, I ain't got no time to be making no zucchini strips. That's okay, here's option number two for these zucchini enchiladas. And this one's just a lot more simple, okay? So basically, you're just gonna take your zucchini, all right, and we're basically gonna cut it in half just straight down the middle. And what we're gonna do is create zucchini boats, okay? So we're just gonna kind of scoop out the inside of the zucchini. And I like to kind of get it, again, kind of as thin as possible. Now don't throw away this middle part because we can use it in our enchilada mix, um, lots of different ways. So we're just gonna scoop this out and make them like little boats. Okay, now I'm gonna take off this slicer. This is what I love about this gadget. And I'm gonna put back on my little dicer contraption. And I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up a lot of this extra kind of zucchini and stuff that I didn't use so that I can add those to my mixture. Add some extra veg. Now I've got my onion and I'm gonna chop up my onion right in with my zucchini. Cause I'm gonna cook all of that stuff together. Super simple. See, nice and chopped. Last thing I'm gonna chop up is a little red pepper. Now we're gonna saute up this zucchini, onion, and pepper mixture. I've got just a little bit of avocado oil spray in my pan, it's a hot pan. And I'm just gonna cook this up until the veggies get um, tender. Now 
I'm gonna add a little seasoning. I've got some garlic salt. I've got some chili powder. You could even just use some simple taco seasoning. Um, add as much as you wish. If you want it not as spicy, use a little less of the chili powder. I just have some simple shredded chicken that I had already pre-cooked and I'm gonna incorporate that into the mixture and get that heated up. And then add a can of diced tomatoes with some jalapenos. You can use a hot, a medium, or mild. It'll give this mixture a really nice flavor. Now we're gonna assemble our zucchini rolls. So you're gonna lay down about three, four, five strips um, of your sliced zucchini. And then you're just gonna simply take your mixture and you are going to place it in the middle and then roll it up and just place that seam down in your casserole dish. And I went ahead and made a couple of versions of this. And then I made a couple of versions of the actual zucchini boats. These little zucchini rolls were not as difficult as I thought they would be. They came together pretty quickly. I wanted to show you a couple of different ways that you could do this. I do think um, creating the boats is just a lot faster way to kind of get the same effect. The nice thing about the zucchini rolls is the zucchini is really thin, so um, it tends to cook up a little quicker. Now I'm just adding some simple green enchilada sauce. You could use a red sauce, and I'm gonna leave this one um, completely dairy-free. And then this pan is for the kids, my family. So I just have some simple flour tortillas and I'm gonna use the exact same mixture and I'm just going to roll up and make a pan of flour tortillas. Make up as many as you want. And then I'm just going to cover this with more enchilada sauce. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with a bunch of cheese. This will bake for um, about 20 to 30 minutes at an oven at 350. And I love just showing you how easy it is to prepare one meal and make it suitable for your low-carb day and for the whole family, all at the same time.